Two of the most commonly used functions in spreadsheets are sum and average. What I have here is a table with income, expenses and profit for each month of the year. And what I need to calculate is the total for the year and the average for each month for each of these three items. So I'm going to start with the sum. I click on cell N2 and I start typing the function by using the equals sign. So equals and then I start typing the function sum and as you see the spreadsheet will suggest the function for me. So I click on it, it completes the function and now I have to select the cells that I want to sum. What I could do here, I could type in the cells that I want to sum. So I want to sum B2, which is uh, the income for January, comma, C2, which is February, comma, D2, which is March. You see where this is going. This would be a very long function. So we don't have to do that. The only case where we would do that is if we were choosing non-consecutive months. So if I wanted to sum, say for example, January, September and December, I could do B2, which is January, J2, which is September, comma, M2, which is December. And that would be fine because it's only three cells and they are non-consecutive. That would be my sum. However, in this case, I want to sum 12 months, so I don't want to type 12 cell numbers. What I'm going to do, I'm going to type B2, and then I'm going to use a column, and then I'm going to type M2, which is December. And you see, the spreadsheet has highlighted all of the months from January all the way down to December. So I press return, and that's my sum of my income. The second way of doing the same is again, start a function with an equals sum parenthesis. Now I'm gonna take my cursor to B3, which is my first expense, and I'm gonna drag it all the way down to December. And as you see, the spreadsheet has built the formula, the function for me. So B3 column M3. I just press return and that's my sum. Let's do it one more time. Equals sum. And you see here, the spreadsheet is suggesting for me, maybe you want to do a sum of B4 to M4. Or maybe you want to do a sum of N3, N2 to N3. In this case, I do want to sum from B4 to M4, so I just hover over and click on it. It builds the function for me, and I press return. Okay, now let's look at average. So the average function, again, we starts with equals, and then we start typing average. So it's very intuitive. I click on it as I did for sum, and I can use all of the same methods that I used before for sum. In this case, let's click on B, and then drag it all the way to M, and that's my average income, monthly income for the year. Now a second way of entering functions, rather than typing it, you select the cell where you want the function to be, and then you bring your cursor up to the functions button, you click on it, and here you have the most commonly used functions. Average is the second, so I click on average, and the function is built for me. All I have to do is select one of the methods that I used before. Click on B3 and I drag it to M3, press return to finish. And to do the same for profit, so I have the cell where I want the function uh, selected. I come here to functions, I click on it, 
I select average and in this case we are going to type it. So I want the average from before. You see as I type it, as I type before, before gets highlighted. So I want it from before, then column M4 and all of my selection gets highlighted. That's correct. I press return and that is my average profit per month.